Part of preparation for every hike that I go on involves treatment. Treatment of my clothing and certain pieces of gear. What kind of treatment? Well, it's to treat one of the things that I fear most out in the woods. Ticks, Lyme disease scares me. I will do anything I can to prevent that from ever happening. What I'm referring to is a chemical that I've been using since I threw hiked the Appalachian Trail. Welcome back hikers to Follow Bigfoot where knowledge is our niche to hiking the outdoors. If you're new to the channel, stick around, subscribe. We cover everything and anything that you need to know to prepare yourself for your upcoming hike like we're covering here today. But to get you on the trail, keep you on the trail and get you to wherever your final terminus may be. I'm gonna talk about treatment of my gear, what I do and why I do it, what I use. Now, this product comes highly recommended by a lot of outdoor enthusiasts. As a matter of fact, I ran into a lot of Ridge Runners, spoken with the ATC, different nonprofit organizations like the Appalachian Long Distance Hikers Association, ALDA, all of them recommend the same thing, and that is permethrin. This is the stuff that I use and have been using. It's made by Sawyer. It's the same company that makes the squeeze that you're probably familiar with. They make lots of different things, but this product right here is legit. During my through hike of the Appalachian Trail, I applied this product every three to four weeks while I was hiking. I only had five to six ticks on me during my entire through hike. Hikers that didn't treat their clothing that I spoke to on the trail sometimes had five to six or more ticks on them every single day. I attribute that to this product. You use this to treat all of your clothing except for your undergarments. So you're not going to treat your underwear or anything that you wear below your exterior clothing like a sports bra or anything like that. You can also treat pieces of gear like your backpacks, your tent, I got my shoes down there, I have a fanny pack, uh, a sit pad, really anything that's exposed. Now this is how you apply permethrin. You hold the bottle upright about six to eight inches from the surface of the clothing. Of course, not while you're wearing the clothing, duh. And spray a slow sweeping motion to lightly moisten the surface of the fabric. Now you're gonna treat the outer surfaces of each outfit front and back for 30 seconds on each side and allow your garments to dry for at least two hours. If it's really humid, you wanna be on the four hour side. Now, as I mentioned, you can treat gear, tense backpacks, very similar, hold it upright six to eight inches, sweeping motion, lightly moisten the surface of the fabric and continue to spray over the article until the outer surfaces of the article are moist enough to cause a light color or change or darkening. Now I did talk to Sawyer, I called them up because I've received questions about whether or not this stuff really works on gear like Dyneema. So I spoke to Susan at the uh, customer service desk of Sawyer and Susan told me that it indeed works, permethrin works on all gear, it does adhere to Dyneema. But when you apply it to Dyneema, you'll do, again do the sweeping sprays, have a light mist go over your gear and you're going to allow it to dry and you're gonna apply it a total of three times. If you do that three times, she said that there's no issue with it applying and actually being able to be effective like anything else that you apply permethrin to. Now permethrin treats anything from gear, mosquito netting, nets, tents, canopies, screen enclosures, sleeping bags, backpacks, ground cloths, hammocks, and camping chairs. It says so on the back. It doesn't just repel ticks, it also does chiggers, mites, and mosquitoes. It doesn't just repel them actually, it kills them. The idea is when they actually land on the infected clothing or gear, they will actually die right off. Now one important note on how often you actually treat your gear, your clothing with permethrin. It states clearly on all of their products, 42 days or six wash cycles. I asked Susan if I'm out there on the trail downpouring for a week straight, does, does that make any difference? She said no. What's really the difference is the agitation. So when your clothes or your gear is actually in the wash cycle and in the dry cycle, what that does to the product inside of your clothing, it will only last six cycles. But you could have it set out in the downpouring rain for 42 days and you'll be just fine. I did ask Susan, is there anything wrong with over applying it, treating it more often? And she said no. 
On the Appalachian Trail, I applied it every three weeks. Now I did do laundry every single time I resupplied, which was about every four days. So every three weeks was probably about spot on with uh, six wash cycles, between five and six, but I just wanted to be on the safer side. Now this Sawyer permethrin, you can find really anywhere. You can find them at most sporting goods stores, REI, which is where I bought mine, or on Amazon. I usually buy it wherever it's the cheapest. It was just convenient when I went to REI. Now there's two different size bottles. This is the smaller bottle, and then they have a larger size bottle. I recommend for gear about this size, it's gonna take your entire bottle, maybe a little bit more. I would get the bigger bottle. I probably should have upgraded. Uh, but uh, what it says and states on here is it's going to treat two entire sets of garments, which includes uh, your shirt, your trousers, your socks, anything else. And uh, I, I have a little bit more than that right here if you add the gear. So I recommend getting the bigger bottle if you are treating uh, most of your clothing and your backpack and your tent, uh, whatever else. Now, one other thing that I do use permethrin for is the tops of my trekking poles, the handles of my trekking poles. It's a common area that I use to uh, push off branches and brush and cobwebs when I'm out on the trail. It's a very vulnerable place for ticks to land, so I also treat those straps. For myself, permethrin is a must on preparing for every and any single hike that I go on. Whether or not I anticipate having things like mosquitoes and ticks out in the woods at that time. It doesn't matter, I don't care. Highly recommend permethrin. I will put links below if you wanna check out where you can get this stuff and pick this stuff up. Well, that wraps it up. If you have any questions about permethrin, throw them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer every single question or comment. If there's anything that you wanna add in, do that as well. If you found any value in this video, give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned for footage coming up on my Scotland hike, and I will see you guys next time.